So we have three theorems I'd like to talk about today. This is from chapter 10.7 in your book. Um, your book called these special segments in a circle. We're going to be dealing with chords, secants, and tangents. Our first theorem says if two chords intersect a circle, then the products of the lengths of the chord segments are equal. So that says that CB times BF. So this length here times that length here is equal to DB times BE. That's this length times that length. This will work for any two chords that intersect inside the circle, even if they're diameters. I'd like to do a quick proof of this. So I've recopied the diagram down below, except I've marked a line between CD, actually a segment between CD and between EF. So I've created two triangles here, triangle CBD and triangle EBF. I'm going to prove those two triangles are similar. So the first thing we can write down is that angle CBD is congruent to angle EBF. That's because they're vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. I'm not going to write down every single line of this, just the basic outline. I also know that angle C is congruent to angle E. If you notice, they're both inscribed angles that intercept arc DF. If I have two angles that are both inscribed angles that intercept the same arc, then they have to be congruent. So angle C of that triangle is congruent to angle E of the other triangle. I have two angles, or two pairs of angles that are congruent. That makes the triangle similar. So triangle CBD is similar to triangle EBF by AA. That means I can write a proportionality statement. I can say that CB over BD is equal to BE over BF. And if I cross multiply, that becomes my statement above. CB times BF equals BD times BE, and I'm done. The second theorem that we're going to look at involves two secants. It says if two secants intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the product of the measures of one secant segment and its external secant segment is equal to the product of the measures of the other secant and its external secant segment. So that's a lot of words, but what we're getting at is that if I take one secant segment, so for example, JM, if I take the product of that, so multiply JM by the external part, so just KM, that's equal to FM, the entire secant segment, times just the external part for that, which is just LM. Our last theorem involves a tangent and a secant. If a tangent and a secant intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the square of the measures of the tangent is equal to the product of the measures of the secant and its external secant segment. So the tangent segment would be fi. I'm supposed to square fi. That's equal to the product of the measures of the secant segment. So that would be our entire secant segment, gi, multiplied by the exterior part, which is just hi. Those are our three theorems. Make sure you watch the examples on how to use these three theorems as well.